Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Vulcanoid. So in the previous episode, we uh, blew up a laser drill ship and upgraded our own to be uh, twice as big as before. So today, we are going to probably venture to the surface, see what uh, sign stuff we can find as we continue to advance and start adding things in to this, uh, this rear section of the ship. So let's see where we are right now. We're at Devil's Roar. Interestingly enough, our spot's been stolen by a tier 2 drill ship. So I guess we're not going back up again. Um, not that we need to. We've done our job there now. The uh, laser drill ship is destroyed and we can have a little bit of an explore underground for a while before we uh, we hop up to the surface. Might be a good idea. Gather more materials, get a more complete look at the entire region here. There's the other landing zone. Oh, one of the other landing zones for Devil's Roar. There's actually a few. Oh, the drill inventory's full. So here's the thing. While you're underground, uh, your storage modules disconnect from each other. Normally, there's a network that they're all connected to, so if you access one of them, it shows you everything in all of them. But when you're underground and all the modules are stowed, they all separate, including the one in the drill. The drill now has its own storage, which contains things that it picks up as you drive around. So it can fill up, and then you have to empty it. You just need to go and dump it in a different storage. That one's full. This one, though, has some space in it, so we can stick this stuff up here. Or at least some of it. And also, this is where the weird things with stacking comes in, where, like, look at this, there's a 1 and a 9. I could just put those together and it saves space. It's a really annoying thing about this that uh, I wish it would sort out is that it doesn't stack things properly even within one storage. So that needs some work. But either way, we've made some space. Put that stuff back in. We've still got nine slots we can... Oh, wait, no. Uh, eight slots so we can mine eight things before we, uh, before we have to stop again. And it could be more than eight if it's uh, if it's like raw materials like the sulfur, because we only grab a little bit of that. Now this is going to be a little bit dangerous. We've got to traverse two sections of lava. Got to wait till it fully cools down before you set off again, or you might be in a little bit more danger. Oh, we got very close there. Yeah, if you go above that line, uh, you start to take damage, and that means all your modules start to get damaged, and they can be destroyed while you're underground. So it's it's risky. Don't do that. And of course, you can get upgrades that mean that that line goes higher and you can withstand higher temperatures before everything goes wrong. There's the other Devil's Roar entrance. Yeah, the other ones are clear. Oh, interesting. We have some iron scrap metal here. Let's just sneak through this gap and gather this. So yeah, this is a crashed tier 2 ship and it also has some track parts. This is important. That's the next tier of tracks. We need the higher tier materials and we need to loot them from these destroyed ships to, uh, to build the better ones ourselves. Oh, that's... Why, why drill ship? Why did you take that route? That didn't seem like the better route. We took damage there. Oh, dear. Uh, but yeah, that is one thing, actually, where I think there's only one way to do it, is gathering the destroyed parts of other ships. I haven't yet found um, any other source of um, destroyed uh, Tier 2 parts than to get them off destroyed Tier 2 ships. I could have missed something. But with, like, most of the things, like, actually upgrading it to a higher tier thing, that uses the intel which you gather through various different means. We just got a module there from that crashed ship. That would be very useful to us. In terms of, uh... Getting more intel. Now, we're on level 2 of the tunnels right now. We could take that to get back up to level 1. That would allow us to then get back up to the surface. Right now, we're on the cave level. That's the thing. This level, uh, you, when you surface, it brings you up in caves. Okay, nothing over here. To actually get back to the real surface, we have to take one of these tunnels first. Right now, I'm kind of wanting to explore around so I can get a better overall view of the uh, the region. For future navigation purposes. The key thing is to finding is to find the, uh, the crash drill ships. Because they're the things we want to keep coming back to. They'll keep dropping loot over time. Every time the volcano erupts, they'll reset. Oh, and there is the path we need to get to the next region. So we need a level 2 drill to get through this uh, these soft rocks here. Once we do that, we can travel to the, to the next part of the island. Now, this is an interesting spot here. This is the Little Den. It's a tiny cave that only has one entrance, meaning if you deploy in here, no other drill ships can bother you. This is the safest spot, I think, essentially, in the game, apart from, like, hiding in the submarine. It's the safest spot to put a, uh, a drill ship, because nothing can bother you while you're there. You can just uh, park up in the little den and uh, and work on, on crafting and stuff. There we go, another crashed one. This is just a tier one, but it has plenty of science stuff we can use. 
Oh, we're out of space though. Oh no. I definitely want to have that, so I'm going to pick this up so I can then grab it. And then I guess we'll look for a, a way to the surface now. We'll keep gathering materials while we're out and about. But that is now our mission. Oh, yeah, we're running out of space quite a lot now. Here's another one. Just a tier one. Okay. Let's go look for a tunnel. We're no good here because we're in a cave right now. The tunnels will never be found in caves. Oh, some more coal. Always useful. Right, I'm going to go to checking the map. Uh, okay, there's one down there. That's probably the closest one. So, basically, due south. Off we go. We are previously on Charted Lands. And there is our tunnel. Let's just hop straight in. And then... Oh, that's occupied. The Boulder Shores. Let's see what else we can find then. That one there appears to be free. The Craftsman's Sight. Get straight up there, we can sort out our storage. Right now we perhaps have too much stuff, or we just need more storages. We can always do that. We can hop out of this and just stand in here. You can watch the uh, the different sections move. And here we are, it looks like the ash is just fading. We're in this weird half phase where everything's just really kind of white. As it transitions from everything being coated in ash to everything being lovely and green again. Oh, and there's another drill ship up there. Just been doing its thing. And here we are. Back on the surface. We can hop out and scout the area. There's a, a settlement down there we can uh, we can perhaps visit. And there's actually a tier 2 drill ship over that way. That we should perhaps say hi to. Oh, that's the one that we spotted. Oh, that's quite a distance. We can't get... get we're not going to be able to get there before the thing decides to just leave. Oh, hello. We've got some friends wandering around here. Okay. Best to keep an eye out. Okay, let's see what research we can do, because there's probably a couple things we can work on with that now. Uh, that's production. Wrong thing. Also, we need to put away these parts, except we can't. Okay, so I'm going to take out the gun. Then we can actually store that in there. Uh, we have three slots, not fantastic. Um, but we're doing amazingly for copper, that's why. We've got more copper than we could ever need. So we just don't need to gather any new copper anytime soon. Also, let's switch this to smelting sulfur for a while. And we are under attack, okay. Just a small one, maybe one dude. What has he got for us? Uh, a bit of scrap. That's fine. Oh. Getting up those ramps is annoying. You, if you miss it, you have to faff about to get in position again. Doop. And, uh, yeah, what I want to do is make a couple of chests. Let's just make, like, five of them. Not use all of them straight away, but we'll have some spare if we ever need them in an emergency. There's two. Okay. Um, I might plonk another one, like, right around here. Like, there. And then we'll put one in the back of the, the ship as well. Uh, this can have the gun, because I don't think we're going to use it anytime soon. We'll just store it in here. I really can't break down revolver ammo, or I believe the revolver, into copper, so I do have to keep them. But I might as well, because I can probably, like... Later on, if I find out that they are actually useful, then I can uh, I can start using them again. I'll also take the ammo out of here and put it in, like, this one. Let's just try and keep any equipment for combat out of the, the storage here. And also, I noticed there's actually a drill ship nearby now. Let's go have a look at it. Let's go say hi, you know what? Seems like they, they've sent a, a friend over, so uh, let's do the same. Oh, were they on the move? Oh, I think they're leaving. Yeah, they're gone. Well, there's some... Uh, it's left its crew behind, so we can visit those and see what they're up to. Here we are. This might be interesting kind of in completely open ground, and I'm not doing a good job of killing them here. Oh, I might die. Heal. Hang on, there we go. You've got to order the heal while not sprinting, but then you're allowed to sprint while healing. Ah! Oh, that was close. 
The healing doesn't happen till the bar is filled, so... Until that point, if you get shot again, you die. There, that got you. Yeah, that was a bit of a risky one. Oh, and he's they've arrived. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure that was the, the drill ship arriving. Yep. Deployed more friends. Let's deal with him before he gets joined by anybody. Yeah, long range is terrible on this thing. I don't know if I'm doing anything right now. There we go. Yoink. Need to heal again. And let's cautiously approach. No turret here. That's a good sign. Uh, and let's just get inside. Here we are. Can I close the door? Nah, it doesn't let me anymore because it's not my drill ship. Uh, right, we can loot this for everything it's got. Also, this doesn't have any defences, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, there we go. There's scrap metal, state selector. Sure, why not? Copper plates. Some stations. That's all that. Is there a storage up here? Yes, there is. A lot of stuff in here. I'll loot it all, thanks. And then I'll work out what I actually want. Uh, and that was everything, because that was the combined storage. Okay, one thing I'll do then is I'll put back what I don't actually want. So, window module, we don't need. Stats panel, state selector. I'll keep the refinery station, because I do genuinely want one of those. That gives us a bit of space. And now what we can do is tear the whole thing to pieces. This is the, the time we use the grenades. So we'll get back a bit. And we'll just start hurling them. There we go. Destroyed research module. That's the stuff we want. And then this can probably go down in not too much. Or maybe it will take a bit. Let's try the shotgun. Don't you leave on me. No, you don't. Mine. Oh, is it going to go? Yeah, it's going. Okay, fine. It's going to loot more stuff, but it decided to go. Yeah, no matter how much you destroy those things, like unless you destroy them completely, they can just leave. And they'll come back repaired. I think, actually, they might come back damaged, thinking about it. Could hang around for a second. It'll probably return. In pretty short order. Is that it now? I think it's genuinely coming straight back. Will it be repaired, I wonder? Here it is. Oh, no, that still looks wrecked on the top. Has it come back with friends? That's the next question. Yes, it has! Uh-oh. Shouldn't have just been stood here. Well, I guess I'll take all this loot that they've given me. If I can. I've got too much stuff on me now. This is a problem. Times like these, you wish I had multiplayer. That is apparently something that's being worked on. I'm very excited for that. Because there could be some fun had, I imagine, when... Uh, You've got someone else to help you with things. Right, that's all I can loot. I'm I'm out of I'm out of stuff. I'm out of room. Right, uh is there anything interesting on top? Oh, there's a power generation thing actually. Oh and I did destroy it. Okay, I can get up there. No, I didn't destroy it. Hold on. Actually, I don't think these drop anything. No, they don't. Okay. We'll go outside. To here. See if we can get this destroyed before the thing leaves. There we go. That was easy. Uh, oh, we just made scrap. Damn. Oh no, that made a research module. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's finish this thing off then. Right, we gotta get away. This thing kind of goes off when it goes off. I learned that the hard way. And now it's wrecked. I don't know if it'll ever go away now. Didn't think about that. Are we, can we get inside? I don't think we can anymore. Not that there's, any, there's anything in there. Oh! I can tear the whole thing apart for research purposes. Hang on, I've got too much stuff. Can I, can I dump things? I don't know how to delete stuff. Oh, there we go. Trash. I could tear the whole thing apart. It mainly seems to produce scrap, but I got some modules from the core of it. And that's the thing, it was a research one, so the core gave research modules, that's the idea. I've got five of these now. Wait, no, I've got seven! Yeah, that's a lot. That is quite a lot. I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna dump the ammo, because I don't think I'm ever gonna use that, and then we can get the rest of this. Oh, that got me some uh, track upgrades. Ah, so there is another way to get this stuff. I just got three of them. 
which is pointless because you only ever need one. I don't know why it just kept giving me more of the same thing, but it did. Right, let's get back to the ship. We have plenty of stuff to work with after that. Very successful mission. Oh, I'm very injured. Let's do something about that. Definitely shouldn't walk around injured, especially considering that there's cogs everywhere just lurking around the place. I should actually go visit that town before I, I leave, because look, it's got modules dotted around the place. There, another way to gather stuff. Oh, there we go. We got there. Okay, can you gather all this stuff? No. You got some of it. Right, I'm going to take all your copper out. Uh, I'll keep the... the repair stuff, the, the healing stuff, because I'm meant to keep that on me. I can have the scrap. That. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to, like, this storage back here, and I'm just going to dump copper in here. Okay, I couldn't dump that much. Let's go get a chest. And just fill a chest with copper. That's more like it. it. Gives us enough room to work with. Have those back. Oh, you're full again. Right, I'll take more. Not all of that, but... I'll, uh... Just put two away. Put a bit more in here. And we can deal with this in the future. A problem for future me. And there we go. Now there's space. I'll make some storage modules later so it's no longer a problem. But let's hop back out there and loot this town before we go. It should have two modules in it, and I've already seen the kind. It's production modules. And of course we can get some stuff from the cogs as well. Sorted. I think the green ones are the weakest ones. Oh. And these ones are confusing because they seem to be like black, but there isn't a black one that I know of. Or maybe there is. Maybe those ones never drop any like neat items. They're just for killing you. That might be it. So like the green ones, blue ones and red ones all have a, a structure they correspond to. The black ones are just like particularly strong ones that are out to kill you. I don't really know. There is a blog post explaining it somewhere, but that update in particular was so long ago I've already forgotten how it all worked. The traversal update is the most recent one that uh, that got me playing this game again. This time hopefully for more than three episodes, we shall see. I never intended to finish it so soon before, it's just that other stuff came up all at once and I basically dropped everything that I was doing at the time and started covering that. And now things have died down, I can get back to the, the previous stuff, which has all had updates in the meantime, so it's all worked out, really. Uh, there's all that stuff. Some of this stuff we don't want to go in that storage. Take a bit of this out of here again. Okay, there. And... Uh, Right, what to craft? Oh, well, we should do some research. That's an urgent thing to be getting on with. We now have a bunch of stuff for researching. I guess we'll, we'll keep doing the, the intel, like the, the research intel stuff, because we have so many of those now. We can just put that on loop and it'll just run for, like, the next episode, working away at researching these things. And so these things here are the intel items. They've got different tiers. Uh, so this is the tier one research. Whoops, picks it up. And then you can get tier 1s of each, and tier 2s and 3s. You can turn tier 1s into 2s and 2s into 3s and stuff like that, so there's some versatility in how they work, and they all unlock various different things. And uh, those, I believe... Oh, it's not actually that they unlock them, it's that we use the research to get the intel, and then you just use the intel item to do some crafting. So, currently there's nothing in here, but we'll be able to unlock some better ones uh, later. I forget exactly how we actually do it, thinking about it. Yeah, I've genuinely forgotten, but there's a way. There's a way of doing it. Oh, I remember now, yeah. So in there is a research thing. Inside here, you can then get upgrades. You get these. These allow the drill ship to support um, fancier tech, and then you build those fancier tech things to build stuff. And those things you build can, I think, sometimes use the intels. So yeah, we need three intels of the research kind to upgrade basic research. So I think, yeah, this one, 
Once this one's done, we can do that. In fact, I might even... Oh, wait, no. I meant to have one still going. Whoops. I might have accidentally used up one of these. Now we still have the right number of them. But yeah, once this one is done, we'll be able to uh, to do the basic research upgrade. So I'll actually just do that first. Um, then we need refinery and production tech. So let me check what do we have for that. Okay, we have enough to get production tech straight away. As for refineries, we don't. Um, well, we, ha we can make two with those. And then we would need to make a third. We could either make it out of three shredders or three minor heads. So we have enough shredders, but shredders are used in crafting other things, whereas minor heads are only for research as far as I can tell. So if I can gather a minor head or another destroyed refinery module instead of um, using the shredders, I'll not have to potentially get more shredders later, and I can use those in crafting special stuff. So that's a thing. Also, there's no reason to have four of these. I should probably chuck three of them away. But this is what you actually need to do the research. Ah, that's a point. We can't actually make this upgrade, I think. Or can we? No, we can. We can. It's So there's these upgrades, and these are the three, like, production tier upgrades. And then there's other upgrades, like the tracks and the drill and the temperature control, which are a different kind of upgrade that are crafted. That's where I'm getting confused. Half of them are researched, half of them are crafted. All right, make that, because we can do the thing. However, it is time to hide from the volcano, and therefore time to end this particular episode. I think I'm just going to do one volcano cycle per episode, keeping it a little bit shorter than my other series, but it means I can record more at once, that kind of thing. So I think I'll go with that strategy for this particular one. Tell me what you think about having longer and shorter episodes. Recently I've been veering a lot more towards longer ones, but I feel like I should have some slightly shorter stuff in there that's below 30 minutes, that kind of thing. We've got a minute yet before things actually happen. I can do more smelting and stuff. There we go. I'll keep this mainly on sulfur because we're getting uh, copper from the scrap reprocessing. And we do have a ref Oh, we have a second refinery station. I can place that. Uh, you know what? We'll put it in the back somewhere. You permanently smelt copper. There we go. Right. We've got 40 seconds to go. The alarm's finished because it's like, if you haven't heard it now, you're doomed. If you haven't gone back to your, your ship, you're going to die. So we'll hop in and we'll go underground. 30 seconds is plenty of time. I found it's when you get to about 20 seconds that you start to be really pushing it. As long as your, your ship is underground by the time it goes off, you're fine. I don't actually know what the, uh, the cutoff is. I'm yet to actually have my drill ship be destroyed while I'm halfway th through going underground. But uh, generally, I assume that if any part of the drill ship is still up above ground when it goes off, that's bad news. And there it goes. Once again, destroying the landscape and beginning the life cycle of Adrenos anew. It recovers surprisingly well, all things told. Considering how frequently the thing goes off. But there we go, we are underground. There's some work to be done, not that we can do very much while we're underground, so next episode we will surface, get back on with the research, everything's paused of course while we're down here because the uh, all the facilities are stopped. And yeah, we haven't actually put any new modules in here yet, I was just focusing on advancing our tech, seeing as we could do that, and getting distracted by destroying an enemy drill ship, which is always fun. Uh, but that is where we'll leave it for today. Next episode, uh, we'll probably actually add some new modules, and uh, we'll, we'll get some of the science stuff done. And, uh, and see where our mission takes us next. Technically, all we need to do is upgrade our drill ship so that we can leave this area, because we've got the laser drill ship destroyed. We can, but we should probably spend a bit more time here working on the drill ship and improving it before we actually barrel off to the next area, because it's, of course, more dangerous. The cogs are more dangerous, they're harder to kill, um, the drill ships are more powerful, it's a lot riskier to be out in that particular area, so... We'll, we'll be cautious, we'll be slow, and we'll make sure that the drill ship is ready to go before just barreling on to the next area, and uh, we'll actually get more sections and more modules installed on the thing. But that's all I have time for today, so I should say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.